Hi everyone, my name is Sienna and this is Sienna Reacts. So today we are back with another this or that. <laughs> so right before this, I reacted to Bambi Thug, who is going to be representing Ireland at Eurovision 2024 in Malmö, Sweden. Um, now I'm going to be reacting to Alicia. I think it's Alicia, I don't know. Someone correct me in the comments. Um, <laughs> because I do something on my channel where I do this or that, I react to the winner, the person that's going to be representing the country at Eurovision, and who was second place, who was the next person up, who just barely missed it, right? So right now we are on to Alicia. Um, she's going to be singing Go Toban, but I looked at the lyrics. Uh, I think the English translation is suddenly. Um, I'm very interested to see how this goes. The the lyrics are very like simplistic. Like I don't I should I should probably do like a read up or something after this, but like it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, like may I go to the bathroom, like that type of thing. And like I don't know Irish anymore. So I'm wondering, you know, like could this be like a reference to, you know, like the average population is losing the native language and stuff like that. I don't know if it's supposed to be something like that, but just based off the how simple the lyrics are and how that's like any language one-on-one -on -one first day of class, like you learn to count to 10 and then you learn like the alphabet and like emergency things, right? Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get started. Please let me know if I am on like the correct path. I guess maybe we'll see. <laughs> Uh, based on like what the performance is but yeah let's go ahead and get started before we begin please make sure to like comment and subscribe I really want to hear what you have to say because I know I was not necessarily overly impressed by Bambi Thug so let's see suddenly okay Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> turn it down. <laughs> turn it down. But I think I think I was right. Like she's saying like, oh, I forgot my like vocabulary. So I feel like this song is trying to say like, I could do so much more. There are so many things that I wanted to say, but because we've lost our language or we're losing our language the only thing i can say are these like rudimentary things I think it's like funny that you can make something kind of like catchy by saying like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that's a talent. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's pretty interesting. I think I think it's it's kind of like complicated because like the whole point of the song is to say that we've lost our language. Our not me, but like <laughs> But like our, our country, our people have like lost our language. Like we're unable to say the things that we want to say. Therefore, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, may I go to the bathroom? Like, you know what I mean? But also just like continuously saying that is kind of something. <laughs> that's interesting again i don't i don't even know i don't know what to say about this i i don't know okay first let's talk let's talk about suddenly or go to bon, right i think the message is cool i think the message is interesting i 
I don't I don't necessarily want to focus on her singing because I feel like she's putting on that voice like specifically to sound like a school child like it's supposed to be like theatrical it's not supposed to be serious so I don't I don't want to talk about the singing because I'm just gonna be like oh her voice sounds kind of annoying like <laughs> that's what it, that's gonna come down to right um but overall I think that the message is cool um yeah the message is cool the message I think has weight it's something that I've talked about previously in like like previous years about like in not in this like case specifically but like I talk about how I wish that there were more songs in native languages like I understand that you're trying to reach a larger audience by speaking English but at the same time I wish you know native languages would be you know it, it's not just gonna I wish it wasn't just like you know like five or six out of the 20 something performances um but yeah I I honestly I and now let's go on to like the comparison between this one and Doomsday Blue. I'm confused. So I was just in Dublin for my birthday last year, like a couple of months ago. I'm confused <laughs> on like the media. Like I don't know, like the like the super like punky stuff like that. I don't know. Like when I was like in the car listening to the radio and stuff like that, it was just the, the same type of music that you hear here like here in like the u.s but they have these kind of like super punky indie kind of out there acts that are vying for the top spot to be representing <laughs> ireland um but yeah that's that's something interesting honestly i I think they're both kind of out there and I don't necessarily like the singing in either one. So because of that, I think Alicia would have been like the better choice because at least then there's like a message behind the performance rather than Doomsday Blues or Doomsday Blue, one of those. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think, I don't think either one of them wouldn't make it out of the first round um yeah they're def like i don't think either one of them would make it to the grand final but it's something can't be i don't know i'm disappointed whatever i'm just gonna say it. i'm just gonna say it i'm disappointed um but yeah i don't know let me know what you think do you agree with me um do you disagree with me do you think i'm a hater uh <laughs> Uh, just be nice about it. Let me know what you think and we're gonna go ahead uh, go ahead and end here. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time for the next version of this or that. Okay, so bye bye!